conversation went on, we realized that we were looking for some of the same things. Kim said that she was tired of people not hearing her. She was tired of people just shutting her out and just pushing her away. And she wanted someone to hear her and to judge, not judge her for who they thought she was, but for who she really was. Kevin made it very clear that all he wanted to do was get his family some peace, the peace that he had gotten from Jesus. But they, all they did was push him away and shut him out. That's when he decided to sell himself to another family one that would hear him and accept him for who he was and what he believed in. The last thing that Kevin said to us before he was hit was, don't worry, we'll find peace together. Then before you know it, the street was covered with policemen, cameramen, and ambulances, and the next thing you know, we were all here. So you see, that's how I met your son. Meeting your son changed my life. My friend and I are off the market for good. In fact, we're going to go home and live with our mothers as soon as we live here. <laughs> you see, it's been seven years since I've seen my mother. I was 12 when I ran away from home. And the one thing I asked my mother before I agreed to come home was, Mama, can you hear me now? She said, yes, baby, I hear you. I could see that now is not a good time. Maybe I should just come back later. Oh, honey, look, he's awake. Kevin. Kevin, are you okay? Honey, Kevin. Can I get you anything? Oh, how you look. doing, son? Son, I want you to know how sorry I am. I, I love you so much. And I've never been a bigger fool than I have been with you. And I want you to know with the help of your God and mine, everything's gonna be a whole lot better. I just want you to know that I love you, Sam. Mm. I love you. <laughs> oh, now, I see our miracle child awake. Yes. How are we feeling today? I feel great. I feel great too, just knowing you. You've been a blessing to me. Well, I don't want to break up the party, but uh, there's somebody here that wants to see you. Oh, uh, who is it? I think I'll just let you see for yourself. You can come in now. Mine! Hey, Kev, how you doing? Better now that I see you. Why don't we just leave these two alone? We can go check him out. Okay, I can't wait to get my baby home. I love you. So, tell me, Mike, what happened? The last thing I remember was running across the street to get Kimberly's purse. The next thing I knew, I was surrounded by clouds and a very tall man dressed in white. But I couldn't see his face, though, because the light around it was too bright. But man, let me tell you, I've never felt so much greater peace than I felt when I was with him. I told him that I never would leave him. But he told me that it wasn't my time, that I had to wait there for a while until my earthly father made this exchange. I assumed he was talking about my father. What kind of exchange? I don't know, but it had to be something good. Because a whole lot of people, I mean thousands of them, saw him dancing around saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, another one has come home. <laughs> Break it up. Break it up. What are you two laughing about? You're supposed to be sick. Bobby, Jerry, what's up, guys? You tell me, you're the one out there diving in front of cars? <laughs> Not just any car, but a shooting car. Man, man, that's wild. That's the kind of stuff you see on TV. Man, what were you guys thinking going way up there? I mean, don't you know you could have been killed? What do you mean he could have been killed? He was killed. Four times to be exact. He wasn't killed four times, Bobby. He was only killed once, then he died three times. Killed, died, they all mean the same thing. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, like I said before, too many newspapers have shot the head. Man, whatever, Jerry. Man, you guys never change, but that's a good thing. So, Kevin, when are you gonna blow this joint, man? I don't know, but I hope soon, because this hospital food is the worst. Who are you telling? They could go feeding me applesauce, thinking I was going to swallow my tongue or something. <laughs> What's wrong with applesauce? Applesauce is good for you. Bobby, all food is good for you. Let you tell it. 
Oh, so zombie boy got jokes. I'm gonna put you back in the hospital. Knock, knock. You're gonna be dead. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Mike. Oh, my God. God I think I'm gonna die. I went to heaven. Hey, Jasmine. Thank you. Glad you guys came. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Kimberly. Glad you guys can make it. Oh, we wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, we were worried about you and Mike. Mike, are you okay? Yeah, it was Kevin I was worried about. Yeah, Kevin, I came in earlier, but you were asleep. I did get a chance to meet your mom, though, and I could see it in her eyes. She really does love you a lot. Oh, yeah, and thanks to you, Kim and I are no longer on the market. In fact, when we leave here, we're going to go home and live with our mothers. I think they can hear us now. Anyway, I uh, forgot to give you this. Call us anytime. <laughs> Boy, you, you, well, you know we still owe you those sodas. Yeah, and this time I'll leave my purse at home. <laughs> Please do. Oh, Jasmine, what I meant when I said that I was gonna, I was your new family, I'm gonna keep my promise of that. And guess what? I'm off the market too. I'm going home to my mom. But there's just one thing that I don't understand. Why did they have to lose us in order to hear us? I don't know, parents are just strange like that. They don't miss the water till the well runs dry. Anyway, we gotta go, guys. Remember, call anytime. You too, Mike. I guess I'm kind of like your big sister now, huh? Mm -hmm. Love you, Kevin. And you too. You too, Mike. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Uh-uh. Man, wow. I mean, who are they? And how do they know you two? Tell me again why you guys went way across town. Man, forget where they went. Look what they brought back. <laughs> I tell you, John. Okay, okay, let me get this straight. You and Mike went on a long trip across town. Met some beautiful women. Jumped in front of a gang shootout. Died four times in one day. Sent up in the hospital all banged up, eating applesauce, and now you have beautiful women following you to the hospital, saying that they love you, and they gave you their numbers? Now, don't get me wrong. I know some people do some strange things to get women, but hey, I'm not no person doing stupid stuff myself. I mean, the dying part was a bit much. <laughs> but if I said it once, I'll say it again. Man, you guys rock. Don't do that. <laughs> You're not cool enough to do that. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Sarah. Hey. What you doing, Kevin? Carl. Yes. Yes. You talked to God, and he heard you. Yes, he did. I tell you what, how about you coming to church, learning more how to talk to God with no pressure? No pressure? No pressure. You know what? I've come this far. I might as well go all the way. I'll be there. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, yes. Oh, can you feel it right now? Give them a crazy praise. showed himself mighty oh yes he has and we know that some people that is in this place knows that God has brought them over now since God has stood up for you now you stand up for God give him the praise give him the glory while you still have time Oh yes, come, he's knocking at the door. Jasmine, remember the promise I made you? Yeah, I remember. Are you ready to go get it? Yeah, I'm ready. Then come on, Jasmine, let me introduce you to our new friend, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God, you, um, you kept your promise to me and gave me back my son. I'm going to keep my promise to you and give you back yes. my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. To your name. Yes. Right now, we'll have a selection from the choir. lost it all but now I see how you were there for me and I can say never would have made it never could have made it without you I would have lost it all but now I see how you there for me. I can say I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. When I look back over all you brought me through, I can see the truth for the one I have. 